today we are in Florence, Italy, and I'm going to take you along for some traditional Tuscan cuisine. Let's go. with vanilla gelato or plain gelato. Let's try it out. Very good. Even tastes better after not eating for six hours. That's how I'm breaking my fat after this we're moving on. Place is a must. Alantico Pinayo. We've got two schiacciata bread filled with a lot of stuff. One is with mortadella pesto, the other one with tartufo and fior di latte. It's similar to focaccia, but yeah, it's Tuscan. Let's try it. Mm. I've been waiting for this for a very long time. And pistachio cream, it's amazing. And the bread is really crunchy. Yeah. And soft on the inside. The stock and cream is so good. Mm. After being on a cut for 12 weeks and then finally being able to eat something like this. What do you say? I don't know, I cannot bite through with <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm gonna bite this whole piece. Mm. Yeah, don't forget that the half of mine. Wow, wow. I don't know, I didn't have to bite it in your hand. It's like you cannot even bite through. Why you cannot bite? I don't understand how to bite. Remember you? Where are you? Did you come there? But you're eating now like me, very fast. I haven't eaten for six hours. <laughs> I can't sleep. <laughs> so much better. And then you really deserve it, you know. Mm. It's not good, don't come here. Don't listen to her. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Just fast for six hours and then come here. But if you cannot, still come here. I must say I'm pretty full now. Yeah, you ate your sandwiches. You didn't eat? I ate maybe a quarter of that. But we're not done yet. Let's move on to the next one. We came to Cafe Lieta and they have this special dessert, it's called Piruli. We have one Janduya, one pistachio. And let's try. It's completely filled with chocolate. Very rich and flavorful. Very good. But you don't like it? No, because it's, it's here is chocolate bananas and this is also full of something. You can get one. I don't know what's up with her today, but this she also doesn't want to eat, so I'm feeling the sugar overload. Yeah, it's too much chocolate ganache. Too much chocolate ganache, she says. So if you don't like rich, chocolate taste maybe it's not for you I really like chocolate so 
from you, it's perfect. Such a chocolate boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's in the DNA. Chocolate. After all the food and walking around, when you're tired, you should definitely come to the Loja rooftop bar situated at the Santo Spirito Piazza. With a nice view, you can have some cocktails, non alcoholic or alcoholic, however you wish. You get some snacks with it, you know, typical aperitivo. Here with the view. So for dinner, we came to the famous Trattoria Dal Oste. I'm sure everyone is aware this is a must, uh, must visit place. We're going for the Florentine steak and we took the kind of the menu. So first we're having a platter of quad slices with some pecorino cheese, bruschetta and a traditional crostini with chicken liver pate. We're going to start with this while we wait for our steak. Let's try this one. Mm -hmm. Speaking um, of the taste of liver, this one definitely tastes more like liver. Yesterday, had more of a taste of peppers, you know, like a sauce. I like the one from yesterday better, but it's also good. Let's try the cheese. Cheese is nice. I started with this. It's been a long time I had the bruschetta. <laughs> but it's hard to spoil bruschetta now. <laughs> I mean, outside of Italy, you can find some bread bruschetta. The bread is not soggy, so. So, our Florentine steak arrived. We asked for medium rare. Medium, medium rare. It's against traditions, but they understand and it's fine. So, we prefer it medium. Let's try it out. Oh, the extra Quite medium, as you can see. From this side. That's another thing that, like, when Nick and I are on Venmo for no reason, yeah. we'll say like couples, and we'll like Venmo when they're in public between each other all the time. And the thing that Kim and I try to do is like just do what we're going to say of like get this, then I'll go get groceries tomorrow. Right. But then we'll go, mm. you get dinner the next time. Right. Just like, it's not the same, it's not exactly the same, but it's, no. it's not, it's not, we call it a Mary Lee It's not, we call it a Mary Lee It's very salty. But she, Nicely caramelized. The Every edges, time nice there was something, she'd be like, wow, Smoky flavor. this was this, I'm going to bet you for like a Melt in your mouth. Like, Delicious, let me try. Or, or like, oh, this smaller bar, piece, which is more well done. Yeah, but like, it costs this much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So very hot. And then when, he, when they come to visit, well, I'm very smoky. Yeah. Definitely. You have to come here when you're in Florence. Well, if you don't come here, it, you really missed out. Great, Must visit she, place. Uh, Everyone a, already knows it, but in case you didn't, visit this place. Okay. Also have some potatoes <laughs> and salad. I got but I was very close to how she was. He was like, oily, <laughs> oily. <laughs> But good. I'm really full now. We finished the whole steak, just the tea is left. One potato, and that's it. A sip of water, and we're ready to go. So it's the next morning here in Florence, Italy. Yesterday was quite a day. 
we did a lot of steps, we did a lot of food. And today I actually wanted to try the famous Florentine panino, the Lampredotto, which is a panino with the fourth stomach of the cow inside. But to be honest, I'm not really up for that this time. So I'm gonna skip that. But if you're a daredevil, then you can go ahead and try that. So I'm gonna give you two more recommendations. The first evening we arrived, we had dinner at Trattoria del Cingale Bianco. And it's a traditional, typical Tuscan cuisine, what they serve. So we had the chicken liver, uh, crostini, an uh, onion flan with truffle, which was very good. We've got a bit of truffle here. This is crazy. For the first courses, we had truffle pasta and the tagliatelle with wild boar ragu. Also very typical of the region and very good dishes. So if you're looking for a dinner and want something else than the steak, I would definitely recommend this place. Next up is the best gelato here in Florence. And the gelateria you will want to visit is called Gelateria della Passera. And they have been awarded with the Three Coni. It's the, the Three Cones Award from Gambero Rosso. And Gambero Rosso is the world authority on Italian food, travel, and wine. So if you're looking for the best gelaterias in Italy, every year they award uh, multiple gelaterias all across Italy and um, yeah for sure it was really good. If you guys have any other recommendations that I should try next time in Florence please let me know. Thanks for watching and be sure to stay tuned for our next video where we'll be visiting the Tuscan countryside. Ciao guys!